In this experiment, we are trying to validate the ICL8038's capa capability in order to generate sine wave in different frequencies. As we might know, the, this IC is able to generate sine wave by just modifying the uh, input resistors and uh, the oscillator capaci capacitor. Uh, the, there are some restrictions in generating the uh, in implementing the input resistor and we should make sure that its uh, value will not exceed 2 uh, micro uh, micro ampere uh, and w would not be less than 10 nano ampere the input current for this IC and uh, uh, on the other hand by using the uh, two equivalent uh, resistors for the input we are able to generate the uh, different kind of waves like sine wave, triangle wave, rectangular wave, sawtooth wave uh, with uh, duty cycle equal with each other. For this context we are trying to uh, measure the sine wave. For this pur purpose I'm trying to generate different sine wave just by varying the uh, input capacitance. First of all First of all, I'm measuring 10 uh, microfarad capacitor, with, which will let me to have one microfarad out. Then I'm using 2.2 microfarad capacitor, which will let me to have 4.5 hertz sine wave in out. By using one microfarad capacitor, I will be acquire uh, 10 hertz. 330 capacitor will be end up to generating the sine wave with frequency of 30. 33 nanofarad will be give us a sine wave with frequency almost equal to 6. 100 microfarad, uh, 100 nanofarad will be led us to acquire a sine wave with frequency of uh, 100 hertz. 22 nanofarad is responsible of generating sine wave with frequency of 454. And as a final step, we are using. Uh, 10 nanofarad capacitor which will give us a 1 kilohertz sine wave and we will use this uh, frequency this uh, modulator in order to drive our strain gauges and trying to deprive all of uncertainty all of the noises which are dominantly exist in DC driving circuits